Welcome to Stories Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Weldon. Today, we are sharing a very special episode with you called Sink or Swim, Una Nueva Leyenda de la Llorona by Monet Hurst Mendoza, which originally ran on one of our favorite podcasts, Girl Tales. Girl Tales is a kid's podcast of feminist fairy tales for a new generation. Damsels in distress, princesses in need of protection, you won't find those on Girl Tales. The girls in their stories take control of their own destinies, turning your favorite fairy tales, fables, and myths into exciting new adventures. If you like this episode, you can find more Girl Tales wherever you get your podcasts. And here's more cool stuff. All of this month's proceeds from this episode are going to a really cool organization called The Kilroys, a collective of playwrights, directors, and producers taking action to address gender parity in the performing arts field. We're really excited to be supporting them. Check them out at thekilroys.org. Thanks. Enjoy the episode. Sink or Swim, Una Nueva Leyenda de la Llorona by Monet Hurst Mendoza. <laughs> so that's my towel. Not on. This is my towel, Zul. I got it with Mama at the Dodger game. Yours is probably in the back Give it seat. back. Let go. You let go. You. If you two don't stop fighting right now, I'm turning the car around and no one is going to the water park. Million? See what you did? Me? You started it. Did not. Did too? Liar. Zul. Cry, baby. You're afraid of the water. Zul. You better watch out or La Llorona is going to come snatch you up and take you away. No, she won't. She's not even real. Zul, stop trying to scare your brother. Now apologize. Sorry, Zul. We don't use our words to hurt someone else. Zul, you're the oldest. You know better. We're a family and we do things together. Zul doesn't have to get in the water if he doesn't want to. Okay, pollito? Promise, mama? Of course, my love. You know, it's okay to be around the things that make you nervous or scared. That's how you become brave. I'll be with you, and you can squeeze my hand if you need me to hug you. That will remind you that you're safe with me. And what if I need a hug? Then you can squeeze my hand, too. I'll always hug my brave babies. I'm I'm not not a a baby! baby. (laughs) How much longer until we get there, Mama? I want to go to the tallest water slide in the park, all by myself. Let's see if you're tall enough. It's important to follow the rules on rides so you don't get hurt. Look, we're here. Okay, mis amores, here are your wristbands. I call orange. They're all orange, genius. You know what else is orange? The swing set in our backyard. It's where you'll be playing this afternoon if you don't stop teasing your brother, niña. Sorry, mama. Now remember... There are a lot of people inside. Do you remember our whistle? Muy bien. And if we ever get separated, what do we do? We meet at the big dolphin statue by the front entrance. And we wait. That's right. And you'll wait there until Mama finds you. Okay, let's have some fun. Look, there's a pirate ship in the pool. I'm getting in. Woo! Don't run, Zo. Mama. Yes, Zul? Hold my hand. Always. Zul, come in! The water feels nice. N- no. There's nothing to be scared of. You have your floaties on. Why don't we try it, Zul? The waves are too big. That's just how the water breathes, my love. Back and forth. Back and forth. A swimming pool is like a big bathtub. If you stay in the shallow end, your feet will touch the floor. Why don't we try dipping just our toes in? Then, if you feel comfortable, we can put our legs in. Then our hips and shoulders. And before you know it, you'll be swimming. Ay, que rico. The water feels so refreshing. Want to try it with me? What if my head goes under the water? That's normal when you swim. Your head is underwater for a very short time. And then, when your lungs need more air... You come up and take a big, deep breath. Like this, Zul! Watch me! (gasps) Ta-da! Very nice, Zul. See? 
Your sister is an expert. She'll teach you how to do it. <gasps> <gasps> Mio, is that you? <gasps> La Llorona. Zul? Come back, Mio. Are you feeling all right? Mama, watch me. It's a beautiful day for a swim. Zo, come out of the pool, please. Zul, you're white as a sheet. Are you a dream? Come back. Zul. 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 He's waking up. Thank goodness. Mama? So? We're right here, sweetheart. What happened? You fainted. You don't have a fever. Maybe it was something you ate? No, it wasn't that. In the pool. Didn't you see her? Who? La Llorona. Zo. Oops. She's in the water, Zo, and she knew my name. Amor, La Llorona is just a spooky story, but she's not real. Zo, you believe me, right? Well... <clears throat> Mama's right, Zul. It's just a scary story. You probably just saw the sun reflecting off the water. Or someone's shadow. But... Ya, yeah, no mas. We are not going to talk about this anymore. Come on, mi vida, levántate. I want you to sit down on this bench with your sister and take big, deep breaths for me. I'm going to go get you something to drink from the stand over there. Do not move from this spot. Okay? Yes, yes mama. mama. I didn't make it up, Zoe. I saw her. I believe you. You said she called your name? It was like she knew me. Or thought she knew you. If she calls your name, that's no good, Zool. Maybe it's not as bad as everyone says. It's a ghost story for a reason. Well, maybe the legend is wrong. She looked sad. Well, of course she looks sad, silly. That's how she gets what she wants. She wants to snatch you up and take you away with her. I don't know, Zoe. I know what the story says, but you should have seen her face. Remember when Miguel came to school with his Pokemon cards? <sighs> yeah, how could I forget? He was so happy to finally have a deck. Check this out. Look what I bought with my allowance. He kept saying it over and over and Right. And remember how he left them outside by mistake after recess? And he couldn't find them later? Do you remember his face when Miss Rosario said they were gone? Lost? He couldn't stop crying. That's how she looked, Zoe. Not, not mean or scary, but like she needed a friend. I didn't feel afraid. Then how come you fainted? I don't know. Maybe I felt a little sad, too. <sighs> Did you? I, I hear it too. Should we check it out? Yeah. Ay, mis niños, mis amores. Where did you go? You see her? How is this real? <laughs> Maybe we should help her. <laughs> Excuse me? Hi! You can see me? Yes. I've been in this pool for years and years, and no one ever sees me. You called my name before? I'm Zul, and this is my sister Zoe. <laughs> Are you okay? You're crying an awful lot. Oh, Mia, how sweet you are. I just lost something very dear to me. Just like Miguel. Did you check the lost and found? Uh, that, that's where I find all my sweatshirts at school. Have you seen my son anywhere? His name is Sol. We were playing a game together in here, and now I can't find him. Where's your meeting spot? Meeting spot? Yeah, in case you get separated. Don't you have one for you and your son? No, we've never been apart until now. 
I guess I should have. <laughs> oh, no. Don't cry. How about a family whistle? Ah, sí. Un silbato. Wow. ¿Qué pasa? How did you know that? This is how my father always called out to me when I was a little girl. I'd be running through the market or the park, and whenever I went a little too far, he... When I got older, I taught it to my son. But that's our family whistle. Maybe that's why you can see me. You're special. He's under this water. Somewhere. I just know it. Can you help me look? Por favor. You want us to go in the pool? With you? Well, three pairs of eyes are better than just mine. We can look for him together. I even have flashlights. We should go, Zul. This is just like in the story, and you know what happens there. Wait, so maybe we have it all wrong. What about Mama? She said don't talk to strangers. Is a magical woman at the bottom of a swimming pool really a stranger? Mama also said to be kind, to help other people. La Llorona says no one ever sees her. Maybe no one ever stops to hear her either. She just needs help. Okay. But we can't take too long. Mama said not to move, and we kind of already did that. We'll be super fast. I promise. We'll help you. Oh, gracias. Thank you. Thank you. How do we get to you? Just take a deep breath. And on the count of three, jump in with a big splash. I'll handle the rest. Okay. Are you ready, Zul? Are you still scared of the water? You're a brave boy, Zul. Just like my soul. Hold my hand, Zo. I'm ready. Uno, dos, tres! Okay, mis amores. I came back with some water and a little treat. Zo? Zul? Come out, you tricksters. Zo? Zul? Zo? Zul? The dolphin statue. Wow! This is so cool. You like? It's so colorful down here. Blues, greens, even purples. It reminds me of Sol. He used to love finger painting with bright colors like these. Sometimes, I feel like these colors are from him. Like a message. I'm here, Mama. Come, find me. You really miss him, don't you? See, it's been so long since I've seen him. What does Sol look like? Oh, he's just a beautiful boy. He has big brown eyes like yours and a warm smile like yours, Sul. His hair is dark and curls into little rings on his forehead. His skin is a little tan like mine, but with less wrinkles, of course. <laughs> and his laugh. Oh! <laughs> his laugh is like a song. He loves to tell jokes and play around. If you're ever feeling sad, his mission is to cheer you up. He's just wonderful. <laughs> Why don't we try calling his name as we swim? Maybe he'll hear it 
and answer us. The more we swim, the more ground we can cover. That might work. Let's try it. Sol? 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 Where are you? Where are you? Are you? Sol? Te estoy buscando. It's me. Solecito. Sol. Sol. ¿Dónde andas? Where are no you? te encuentro. Are you there? Mi hijo. Sol. Oh, it's no use. We've looked everywhere and still nothing. I thought for sure he'd come if he heard more people calling his name. How could I lose someone as wonderful as Sol? What kind of mama am I? It's okay, Yorona. Everyone makes mistakes. Even mommies. Really? Yeah. But just because you make a mistake, that doesn't mean you're a bad person. I make mistakes all the time. And sometimes she gets upset. Or we'll get upset because we don't agree on something. But we'll always listen to our mama because she wants the best for us. And we love her. Because she loves us. No matter what. Always. What good children you are. So smart. Your mama taught you so well. She's very lucky. We'll find him, Yorona. Maria. What? That's my name. Maria. La Yorona is just a name that people gave me over the years. Everyone thinks I'm scary, but I'm actually just very sad. No one ever asked me why. They just made up a story instead. Maybe if they asked, they would care. Maybe then I wouldn't seem so scary. I'm so sorry, Maria. At school, people misjudge me too. Sometimes they make me feel left out or even make fun of me because I'm a little different than they are. But I'm just a kid, like them. If they took the time to get to know me, they might even like me. My mama says it's okay to be different. That being me is the best thing I can do. Your mama is right. There's only one you, so. And who you are is spectacular. You and your brother? You wanted to help me. You weren't afraid to be kind, even though I'm sure you heard the scary stories about me. And that is what gives you character. And believe it or not, it's not something that comes to everyone easily. It takes courage. And most importantly, it takes practice. You should be proud of yourself, Mija. You both should be. Come on, Maria. Let, let's keep trying. Mommies never give up, no matter what. You're right. Sol! Sol! Where are you? Sol! Sol! Solicito, Sol! where are you? It's your mama. Sol, te estoy buscando. ¿Dónde Your andas? Looking for, you. looking for Sol. you. Sol! Sol! Por favor, contéstame, Sol. Te estoy buscando. Sol! No! Where are you? That's mama. She's looking for us. How long have we been down here, Maria? A while. I think. I'm not too sure. Time moves very differently down here. She's probably freaking out. We weren't supposed to leave the bench. I know what that worry is like. I don't want your mother to become sad like me. She needs you. We should get back to your mama, niños. But we said we would help you, Maria. Zul's right. We can't just leave now. Niños, you saw me. You cared. You thought about someone other than yourselves and gave what you could to help me. That means so much in this world. Because of that, I'll never give up looking for Sol. I'll miss you, Maria. Me too. I'm sorry that I told Zul that scary story about you. Well, now you know the truth. Take it with you. Okay. 
Now grab hands and take a deep breath. <gasps> On the count of three, bend down as low as you can and shoot up towards the surface, kicking your legs as hard and as fast as you can. When you get to the surface, make your way to the dolphin statue, just like your mama said. And when you see her, hug her real tight and tell her you'll never leave her again. We will. we will. Will we ever see you again? If you ever need my help, just call for me. Exactamente. Okay, here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Adiós, amigos. Babies, there you are. Mis amores, oh, thank goodness. You're okay. Oh, gracias a Dios. Mama? Sol? Sol! Mijo. The end. Thanks for listening. 